Hey Chad, are you packed yet? Yep. Oh. I love the okay. Yep. Great. All right, let's go hunt. See, we don't actually need two full suitcases for a five day trip. No, but we do need them if we're driving up and then flying back with a bunch of bottles. So the first leg of this trip is a barrel pick road trip of sorts. We do three out of state picks in three days. Mm -hmm. Then we jaunt up to Washington DC, we drop off the car and we do some bourbon hunting Washington DC style. After that, we'll take our findings and fly home. So the name of the game here is conserve the suitcase space because it'll be limited. <laughs> yeah. First stop in the books, we were at uh, Potomac Wine and Spirits. Good selection there. Um, a lot of stuff in the back you said if you're yeah. interested, just know what you're looking for and ask for it. Yeah, he had, he had some stuff there kind of on consignment. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Which, you know, we, we see yeah, a lot we see. and expect. If you're looking for it, it's convenient. Yeah, H. Well, Taylor Barrel bet. Proof, uh, <laughs> just sold. It's just sold, yep. <laughs> it was just the tube there. But uh, we did see an Op Creek 12 year that uh, we don't really see too much at this time in Kentucky. It was 79 bucks. So we thought we'd pick that up. So, one pickup so far. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, I think we hit the mother load. They all have it right here <laughs> uh, on right the there. shelf. Uh, the complete happy line, the VTAC vertical right there. Right there in the window. It got must some, be affordable, right? Got some old fits. So we'll just go buy, buy them. We're gonna buy them all. Also, there's a Bourbon Finds single barrel right here. Shout out. Okay, so we knew it wasn't going to be some magical store that just happened to have everything at retail. That's a fantasy. But they did have pretty much whatever you might be looking for, minus vintage bottles, though they did have a few. They also had a smaller selection of what most people might call normal bottles. Here's a look at some of the highlights of what they had to offer. Pause to read the prices, if you like. We're gonna go ahead and tell you that we found Blanton's at nearly every store we stopped at on this trip. So to start a running tally, the Bourbon Concierge had the normal 93 proof version at $179. Okay, yeah, you know, as, as we thought, obviously, it wasn't well, going to be duh. reasonable. I we knew that. You'd be silly we if you thought that. that's the way it was gonna be. Uh, but I mean, if you're looking for something, they've got it. If you wanna pay that for it, then they've got it. Be their guest. <laughs> they've got it, yeah. It's also fun to just go in there and look at stuff that like you never see like all right. those Parker's bottles together. See them together. in person. It's neat to see them all together in yeah. the neighborhood. Stop in. You know, and, and they a, know a lot. Yeah, a super they nice, super nice guy there um, behind the counter, and you know we chatted with them and yeah. had a good time. It was so a good experience. Could have stayed longer. Yeah, that but was we great. We gotta get on the move. Great stop. We got distracted. We were passing a place, and I thought it said crumbs and whiskeys. It says crumbs and whiskers. But it says crumbs and whiskers. It's a cat cafe. It's a cat cafe. Not on the agenda. No. I'm maybe, go. maybe later. Later on, we stopped in here, but we were asked if we had a reservation, which we obviously didn't. The next day we checked their website and they only had one spot open for the entire day. So this place is doing it right. Maybe we should open up a whiskey and whiskers bar. Anybody want to invest? Let us know. Next up is Georgetown Wine and Spirits, which probably had the smallest bourbon selection of the stores we went to. But it's nice to see Buffalo Trace here since we don't get to see it very often in Kentucky. We'll also see this bare knuckle six year in a lot of places too. Since it's a local brand and by local, we're including Virginia and Maryland since they're also close to DC. Almost missed this Eagle Rare up top. It's the last one and it's $53. Just leaving Georgetown, Wine and Spirits, I believe. Yeah, super nice guy that worked there. Uh, they were doing a tasting, that was nice. Pretty good selection, but they did have an Eagle Rare for $52.99, which honestly, like we don't see them on the shelves at home. We're out right now, so if you just can't pass that up. We are running yeah. out of room in the suitcase, though. Wasn't too bad, so. No, especially for this area yeah. and for a 10-year-old product, you know. So we picked it up. On to the next spot. Well, on to the next stop after a cookie break, that is. Well, you gave me cookie, got your cookie. <laughs> we passed Levain, is that right? Levain. Levain Bakery. Uh, world famous for chocolate chip cookies, so we got a double chocolate, uh, two different types of chocolate, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. It is good. So there's that. That's good. All right. Well, that was a good. We've been waiting for this one. One West DuPont Circle Wines and Liquor. That's a mouthful. It's similar to the Bourbon Concierge, but much larger with a bigger selection of the normal bottles. Of course, right now we're showing you some of the crazy bottles. Here we 
Here we go. Here's some normal yet also special because these are all single barrel picks. They had a whole section for them. But in this place, even Blanton's isn't too good to become floor whiskey. Well, it is the 80 proof green label after all. Here's some tin cup 14 year, haven't seen that in our area before. Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare on the shelf along with Henry McKenna and for four bucks cheaper than we last saw it for in Lexington, Kentucky. Also usually nowhere in sight in Kentucky is Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel and Barrel Proof, but that Toasted Barrel price makes it a pass. Okay, enjoy this look around the store. prices on the Weller line, but they wouldn't be sitting there if they were retail, now would they? Wow, what a place. Uh, you want it? They got it. Much like the other place, but it, it had more variety. You know, it was well, bigger. It was bigger. It was, store, bigger. It was yeah. much bigger. There's a lot that we could have gone home with. There's a lot that we asked prices for. Oh, a lot on the wish list there, <laughs> but you know, one, uh, budget, and two, we only have a limited amount of space in our suitcase. Right. Do I want to be carting a $500 bottle home in a tight suitcase? Right. Not really. <laughs> yeah, not really. You got some bitters? I did. I found some from some fun flavors of bitters there. They mm -hmm. had a really good selection. They had a lot of like the Goose Island stouts. Yeah, and all a lot the special of them. edition ones. It was really cool. And then uh, we picked up the Maker's BEP because mm -hmm. we needed an extra bottle. It was $79.95. Oh, um, we saw an Eagle Rare there that was semi fairly priced, like from but, what you would see normally. But we did good at the other place. We did better at the other place. Yeah. So, but you can find it there also. Yeah, so we got that BEP. P. Uh, now we're going to Jack Rose, Jack Rose is which has been time. on the bucket list for forever. Yep. We're going to get some drinks, get some dinner, mm -hmm. meet some patrons there, get out of the sun. Jack Rose had a small selection of bottles for sale up at the front part of the bar, including some of their single barrel picks. But we're more here for buying pours, not bottles. So we started off with a great baseline in their Knob Creek single barrel pick. For the next four hours or so, the hits kept coming. So if you'd like to see a video about the pours that we had, let us know down below. Washington, you're hot. Hot. You're hot. Ugh. Get on that, please. Help. All right, before we continue the hunt, we want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can find all the glassware that we use, all the t-shirts you saw me wearing in this episode, plus hats, hoodies, challenge coins, bottle cut candles, there's more. It's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And if you don't want to put in the work to hunt for so many bottles, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that's where we release our Patreon-only barrel picks. And we'll be right back after these messages. It's Sunday now. Yeah, day two. I think the liquor store is mostly open up at 12, so we've just got time to go get breakfast. But uh -huh. of course it's raining and we don't it's have raining. our car now that we're yeah. in D.C., so... Which yeah, is for the best. Yeah, we're walking. Also, we're walking. Barmy Wine and Liquors was our first stop, and before we even go inside, we see a Weller foolproof pick along with other impressive offerings just chilling in their front window. Inside, we found the regular offerings for us plebes, and here's more Buffalo Trace. It really is everywhere here. Another BEP for the same price we paid for it, alongside a cask strength Makers 46. And what's this? A C921 Larceny Barrel Proof? Just sitting there for $89.99, which is more than MSRP, but it's not crazy especially for a release that's over a year old already. $120 for Toasted Barrel is better, but we still can't get behind it for that price. More Blantons. This one is $175. It's a pass for us, but just thought you all might want to know. Hey, Old Forester Single Barrel Pick, I see you. And some more local stuff in the Ragged Branch. If we were driving home, we would have tried one of these. And there's that bare knuckle again. Getting harder and harder to find bookers back home. How much is this one? $130? Just doesn't feel right. There's a $90 bottle of Eagle Rare, which seems to be becoming the norm, unfortunately. 2023-03, haven't seen that in our neck of the woods. How much? $200. Why so much more than the O2? SNR Liquors was next. Nope, just kidding. Closed. Closed on Sundays. It's normal for it's the us. the risk you take on Sundays. Or you just look at Google and you, you know ahead of time. Just do that this. also. And just do that. Hey, we have an umbrella now, at least. We're prepared. Yeah, now that we have it, it stopped raining. There we go, yeah. Lame. Pretty cool. 
A1 Wine and Liquors was actually next. And man, I know $75 is still over MSRP, but that's the best we've seen all day, and it's still a shock to see a barrel-proof Heaven Hill product just sitting on the shelf for not a crazy price. We don't really see that in Kentucky, at least not in our city. Once again, Buffalo Trace is represented along with the kosher products not carried in Kentucky, but yikes, I think we can do better on that price. Here's the obligatory Blanton shot. It was $170 here, by the way. $140 for Booker's 202303. Does someone know something about this batch that we don't know or something? I think this might be the original Cream of Kentucky release. ECBP for $125, though. Mm. And here's your normal Van Winkle and some BTAC shots. What store doesn't have these in DC? Good price and selection on the Sagamore stuff. That's one of the barrel picks we did on this trip, by the way. Oh, I see you up there, Weller. Oh, more Eagle Rare and Blanton's. A really good price on their uh, Larceny Barrel Proof, but we already picked up that other one, mm. so didn't pick, oh, well, didn't pick up anything there. No, don't need it. Uh, need to save suitcase space. Suitcase space, yes. But they did have all, uh, not all of them, they did have a lot of flavors of the uh, Sagamore Rye um, RTD cocktails, and yes. I was really sad that I can't take them home. They're refrigerated. Yeah. I love them a lot. Yeah. We've seen places like District Liquors before. It's a lesson in not judging a book by its cover because inside, while they didn't have the biggest selection, they had some great prices. Look at this McKenna for $14 less than the last one we saw at home. Plus, here's a Booker's for $110, which is more than we want to pay, but the distillery sells them for $115 and is the 202301, which is one we've missed picking up. More of the Bare Knuckle, which is six-year MGP at cast strength for $60, which I guess isn't awful for 2023. And here's District Made, another local label which we wish we had room for in the suitcases. $30 for Buffalo Trace. Congrats, District Lickers. You have the right price and you win a prize. Always look up top in stores because you never know what you'll find. Like $90, take your pick, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Larceny Barrel Proof, or Elijah Craig Toasted. Still over MSRP, but we would call these fair prices for the DC market. More of the koshers, all $99. And in case you want any of the usual sought-after Buffalo Trace stuff, they have it. I got a crimp in my neck just from looking up at so much ceiling whiskey. Good place. Saw uh, a Booker's release that we've kind of missed, the 01 from this year. They had a lot of stuff. They did. Uh, decent and price. Not bad prices at all. Mm -hmm. Picked yeah. up that. And then we saw all three of the the, the Buffalo Trace kosher uh, recipes. You did not see at home. Yeah. And um, I think we are low, if not out, of our rye recipe. So we picked up one of those for 99 Left some other stuff there that normally we might have gotten, might, but you know, suitcase space suitcase, and all. Budget. So, eh, it's hard yeah. to say no, but we had to say no. Yeah. Barrel House Liquors was next. Pretty great selections all day. Here's all the top shelf eye candy. And don't even get me started on Weller CYPB for $8.99. But the award for best price on regular Blanton's goes to Barrel House Liquors. 150 bucks? We wouldn't pay that for it, but it is the best price we've seen in DC. Hey, and another award for the best price on Buffalo Trace. This is what it should always cost, $24.99. Thank you. Hey again, Larceny Barrel Proof. But Toasted Barrel, why are you 149 again? Uh. Barrel House Liquors. Another place uh, that had some stuff that we'd already picked up. Saw more of the Buffalo Trace Kosher. Mm -hmm. Booker's, I think, had a pretty good price on it. Uh, things that we've already kind of picked up or decided that we were going to leave for someone else. So nothing picked up there. But it had a cool storefront kind of barrel-looking yeah. thing. <laughs> it, it, Definitely it, caught our attention. It did. It did. That's how they get you. Yeah. Now I think we're going on to Schneider's, I think is next. Snyder's at Capitol Hill. Came highly recommended by many people who patrons who we asked, where should we go? Mm -hmm. Schneider's was our last stop. Floor to ceiling bottles here, complete with some floor whiskey. But the last stop of the day always suffers from being last. They had a lot of the same that we've seen all day and a few new things.
Yeah. Really great stop. So nice. Very nice them. people in there. It's uh, obviously it's been around for a long time. Floor to ceiling mm -hmm. models. They're just yeah. like in all the cubbies everywhere. And a really good scotch selection. Yeah, we saw a bunch of Glenallocky bottles that we haven't. And we just keep an eye out because like yeah. that's something that we learned we like in Scotland. Mm -hmm. All these scotch aficionados be nice. <laughs> um, but it seemed like they had the most unique and varied selection of scotch. Not necessarily the largest number of bottles, but they had a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of old stuff. And uh, I mean, bourbon wise too. They had a lot of old Armagnacs. Too. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of special bottles. Uh, none that we grabbed. Well, everyone's a critic. I'm having uh, a bad time. <laughs> a bird just shit on us. So. And it, I got the splash. And I got the, the splatter. Splash zone. Yeah. Great. Can't wait. Uh, I'm really excited to get to where I wash my hands. They say, they say it's good luck though, right? Is it good luck? I don't know. Yeah. It didn't feel great. It doesn't feel like good luck. No. It feels like I've been cursed. So after a cleanup and some thorough hand washing, we had a late lunch, packed our bottles into our suitcases, and then headed to the airport. Here we are getting back late Sunday night. And here's our Washington DC bottle hunt breakdown. We picked up a Knob Creek 12 year for $79. An Eagle Rare for $52.99. Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series BEP for $79.95. Larceny Barrel Proof C921 for $89.99. Booker's 202301 Charlie's Batch for $109.99. And the Buffalo Trace Kosher Rye Recipe Bourbon for $99. And because we're keeping track in this episode, the best price we saw for Buffalo Trace was $24.99. Eagle Rare was $52.99. And Blanton's was $149.99. And hey, that's where we gotta leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos on the screen, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Until next time, hunt more bourbon.